Hello everyone, we are in the first 1.7 snapshot. This snapshot adds a lot of biomes and basically everything in 1.7 has to offer. We even have the sprint button, every new biome gets added in this one snapshot apparently. Um, also, the, the, the rain is loud, so... I can turn it to 20%, which some people just turn it off, but honestly, I like to, yeah, but then for videos. Oh, enemy monsters. Ooh, nice. Anyway, we're going to head to the nether. The sprint button is now a thing. We are in the nether. Let's see the Mesa biome. So for the brand new biome, the Mesa biome, if you thought Inf terrain was broken, you might want to take a look at the Mesa. Yep, this is the most broken thing I've seen in my whole entire life existence. I've never seen anything crazy. -er. So when I first heard about the Mesa being broken, I thought it was because there was no red sand or something. But this, as the Mesa biome, takes is a whole nother level. Yeah, let's look at this from my helicopter. I'll get it ready. I just want to showcase this area, just showing it. Now you guys can see. Also, I want to load a bunch of terrain. Just load the whole thing. No more support. I want to go west, but okay. So this is not too far away. I thought it was going to be like 10,000 blocks away from spawn, but mine atlas actually walks in this version somehow. I actually didn't even know that. Other biomes. Man, this is going, geez, this is going to be so fun collecting sand. You know why I'm loading? You see now why I'm loading new train? I'm sorry, this is just so fun playing with these commands that I have to do them. Hey look, a village! So these guys are crazy good when it comes to trades. Um, we will talk about the village or trades in a little bit, just a bit later, we will, don't, don't worry guys, we will look at the village or trades, but not today. Now 1.7 does actually make the cave generation terrible. I don't know why, but every single update, every single amazing update, has a very controversial twist. Beta 1.8 was amazingly big and was actually amazing at the time, but it's controversial. 1.3 made enchanting so much easier and a less of a pain. But, however, 1.3 also added this thing which caused a lot of issues. And then, well, I mean, 1. Point, I mean, if in 1.9, if in 1.9 had amazingness, the Lyctra 
but the but yeah, the light was actually hated by a lot of people, believe it or not. I'm not one of them. Okay, we are back from the trip. And as you can see here, something happened. Oh boy. So this is 16 blocks this is a perfect square, 16 blocks by 16 blocks. So it goes up and down infinite ways, in an infinite way. When a chunk resets and we're so lucky that it's an ocean biome. This happens, it, this is what deleting a chunk will do. Now we got lucky, we got very lucky with it being an ocean biome. Now I do have a backup of my ward, but I'm actually thinking of keeping this one. I'm now in 1.12, so if you update the ward, crazy things happen. The order of the Minecraft ward is the um slower you need to update the ward. As you can see, Indev is crazy. Indev is crazy. I'm in 1.12 because of spectator mode. I was going into 1.12 deciding if I want to keep this or not. And I actually do want to keep this. I do think it would be a good idea. So there's nothing here, nothing here, until we go down. It's all stone except for the new chunk. Double hockey sticks, new chunk, I guess. There's also like this fun area. Oh my goodness, look. Okay, yeah, it really is a good idea to keep this. We got lucky that our biome is a ocean biome. But yeah, this is end of terrain. And then there's the bedrock is at Y level 32 ish. So yeah, and that's. I haven't really been exploring these caves since there's no diamonds, so I haven't really needed to. Maybe when gold and iron get buffed, I will gather some. But then there's no redstone and no lapis that, and no emerald, so that's a shame. So yeah, I'm thinking of actually keeping this chunk bottle. And you have the season 4 war download. You can tell me what happened. I challenge you because I couldn't figure it out. I do not know how this chunk got deleted. So I'm now updated to a novel snapshot. This one is one of the most unique snapshots. But we need to kill a bat. And those are few bats, because if we kill them, we get this. Now, we, what is this? As you can see, it says air. So yeah, this is literally slash give zero, Isaac Bluestone zero. If you give yourself zero, it'll also walk. This also works for every single mob that doesn't drop anything. You could even test it on the Ender Dragon, but that's kind of a bad time to fight the Ender Dragon. So any mob that doesn't drop anything will drop this air. I just realized that this is literally the only version where bats are useful at all. The only version in the history of the game where all bats are useful. But what can we do with this? Now you might 
say that we should put it in an item form. An item form. That sounds like a good idea. Well, if we put it in an item form, it'll most likely delete the chunk. We could place one right here. Like, as in press Q, but the chunk will be deleted, so we shouldn't do that. I'm clicking and trying to place the block. I mean, it, it's kind of cool to just to see that there. I guess I'll take a photo. But honestly, there's nothing we can do with this L block. All we need to do is kill a bat, I guess. That'll actually do it for today's episode. Pretty short one, but I kind of wanted the first episode to be straight to the point. And we even got to squeeze this in, which is kind of cool. But, well... We're going to see what happens. Goodbye for the time being. Take care. Have a good one.